today we're going to be talking about the best jobs in technology for the future. Jobs that are here today but also will continue to be very high in demand come the future. Tech is constantly changing and evolving and with that the roles we are in in the industry change as well. These are some of the most in demand jobs right now and for the future. Number one on the list is AI or machine learning engineer. As everything continues to be working towards being automated, AI or machine learning engineers continue to be more and more in demand. These developers use big data to train models. That includes natural language processing, economic forecasting, and image recognition. Okay, number two on the list, no surprise here, is data scientists. Organizations, businesses, everyone wants data. Everyone's collecting more data. That's the need for data scientists continue to grow and grow. The number of job openings for data scientists continues to grow and continues to be more in demand. So if you're looking to get into an industry or career or position, I guess you could say, that is for sure going to be in demand in the future, data scientist is a great way to go. Data scientists spend their day compiling, cleaning, and presenting to different organizations data that they have found. Data to help organizations make better informed decisions. Okay, next up, coming in at number three, is information security analysts. Information security analysts work on, I guess you could say, the front lines to really help protect different businesses or organizations with their information that is on their computers or online. They are essential to ensuring that businesses' data is safe and preventing different uh, attacks on their systems. Number four, my personal favorite because it's what I do, is a software engineer. Software engineering is one of the most in-demand jobs not only now but in the future. It will continue to evolve and change as technologies do as well and it's essential for software engineers who are currently in the role or considering getting into it to be able to keep up to date with latest trends, being wanting to learn constantly and growing with technology to not fall behind. Also, the great thing for this career is you don't need a formal degree to get into it. For software engineering, you can go to different things like a boot camp, self-teach, or go to computer science. For myself, I don't have a computer science background. I went to university for something else. But with self-teaching and going to a coding boot camp, I was able to get into this role. So really with any of these roles, some of them you might need a degree more than others, but there's always a way, if, what does it say? There's always a way if there is a will. If it is something you are very passionate about, even if you didn't go to university for it, you can still get in the industry by doing different certifications or courses online. It is possible. Okay, number five is computer research scientist. And this job is essentially what it sounds like. They research new and innovative ways to do amazing things with the computer, its technology, and its processes. This is a very lucrative career to get into, so if you are looking for something that has a lot of money attached to it, this is a great one to investigate as well. Okay, number six and last on the list is database administrator. Similarly to data scientists, data administrators work with large amounts of information and data and really help their clients manage this. They maintain different databases and ensure computers are running as efficiently and effectively as possible. Okay, those are the top six in-demand jobs, not only today, but in the future as well. And once again, all of these jobs, if you didn't get a degree in them already, doesn't mean you can't get into them. There are so many different ways through online or certificates that you can take to get into them. And it's also nice knowing you're getting into an industry and a job that you will have in the future. Thanks for watching my video. Comment and like down below and let me know what else you want to see. See you soon.